Did you see the booty on that one? <laughs> That's <laughs> stupid, right? I don't just call it stupid, stupid. but I'm just like... No, first, since you're not... This is a trash man. Girl, ladies, if you're watching this video, this is a type of man. Well, outlandish to think that a guy's supposed to sit there and rush deliver the marriage with you for... What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today, I have a... Uh, we have a person that uh, I guess I guess it's like an old track star Olympic person, Lolo Jones. Man, you might know her by the. She talking about how yeah, I'm a virgin and all this kind of stuff. Like, bro, I don't I don't really believe that. What do you think? And I feel like if he's religious, there might be a possibility. You gotta be like a super religious, like a religious zealot. No, but I'm telling you, like the friend I met with today, mm -hmm. yeah, like she's only been with one guy. That's her ex-husband. That's yeah, that's something different. You ain't a virgin. No, but I'm saying if she's never been married and she's religion, religious, then it makes sense that okay. she's like a virgin. Okay, I don't know. I find, I find it hard to believe. I just, I just don't know because it's like you're, uh, you're you. You're not an ugly woman, and then you're at uh, the the level that you were in. Yeah. But so, oh, some women will just like wait till marriage, you know. Okay. Well, the article here is 39 year old. Lolo Jones rants about her virginity being friend zoned and blocking guy desperately wants to be married. See, she wants to be married, so she's waiting to be married. Okay, okay. According to her, at least. Right, so here's the start. Lolo Jones really just wants to experience the things she sees around her, but she is running into an issue of finding the perfect guy to provide that for her. The 39 year old got real candid about her dating life as she took to her Instagram and stated she keeps getting her heart broken as she looks for love. <laughs> we have a quote here. I don't know how she talks. Tonight I blocked the guy I was talking to for eight months. My heart just couldn't take it anymore, she shared on Instagram. He gave me so many mixed signals. He would talk about marriage and kids, but then keep me in the friend zone. He would never make time to see me. My heart is so heavy. You know why? I can I can associate with that. I'm gonna tell you why this happened. Because she doesn't want to bust a guy. Yeah, either. and and that and, means the guy's trap. No, no, it doesn't. No, uh, no, no, no. If if I've been talking to you for a certain amount of time, then then no, okay, then no, okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, no, no, no. And I'm not getting married <laughs> to you in a year. No, you're an idiot. No, Nobody's gonna marry thing, you in eight months or a year. Not everyone's the same. I'm just yeah. saying, I wouldn't call this guy a trash, but I'm just yeah. saying he's not the right one for you. Right. Because there are religious guys out mm -hmm. there. He, or like the guy that would understand you and yeah. respect your value. This guy ain't it. So just like move on. Right. I know it's really hard to find someone like that in this day and age, mm -hmm. but there are guys like that out there. Like they will, they will actually understand your value mm -hmm. and they will actually pressure you more yeah. because you you stuck to your value all yeah. this time and you're still a virgin you know where age. she's gonna have to go to find that asia nope she's gonna have to go to some of them one of them weird midsummer type cults <laughs> no like find asian, a guy like that a lot of asian guy would appreciate that okay yeah, okay. like they, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of backward thinking, but yeah. they would want their their wife to be like a virgin, yeah. I think, you know? I guess, but I'm yeah. saying they, they would appreciate you doing this more. Yeah. Or someone who's religious, they would get it. So well, yeah, I'm just telling you from a from a regular guy standpoint, the, the average guy is not gonna gonna be like, oh man, she said she wanna get married, and then they're gonna think about how it's gonna take, like that's no, gonna take No, you only no, man. No, no, no. average American Conservative? Man, I, no, I do not, man. I, do, I represent just the average Horny guy. guy. <laughs> no, man, you're not going to, because you're going to think about like, okay, I'm not going to marry this woman in five months. I'm not going to marry this woman in three months. You it's can't take, wait for a year? No, nah, I cannot. I said, I'm not marrying you in a year. It's going to take me a couple years to get to know you. Who marries somebody? Unless you're a pure idiot, you're not marrying nobody in a short amount of time like that. So yeah, that's why you messed up. I think stupid. a year makes sense. You're a little stupid. Yeah, ain't like busting or nothing like that. Much. He don't owe you his time. He wasting his time by just he just want to go to the uh, to the movie with you and watch Netflix. Come on, bro. No, I feel like when you are mature adults and then you get to know each other in the year time span. Yeah. It's it's a good amount of time. I don't think it's it's too short. Nah. Years not too much. Like if you're enough. twenty, years not enough, man. Years not enough. If you're twenty years old, a year might not be enough. But when you're thirty nine, you know exactly what you want. You either see it in this person or you don't. If you don't, you move on. Okay. So then I think a year. That makes is sense. Like, is that like makes sense. But yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, before that, you couldn't find love because you sounded stupid. Let's get it. Why so, stupid? I just told you why. 
The Olympic hurdler and bobsledder went on to say that she's exhausted. She's so exhausted by her dating life and is struggling to find a man to answer her prayers. Don't keep struggling. We have a quote by her. I have continually asked God to honor me with a godly man. I've prayed for years and with many tears for God to allow me to find my husband. I've even prayed if God didn't want me to be married to remove the desire from my heart. But as the years grow, I want to be married more and desire badly to have a family of my own. And I just keep getting my heart broke. Ah! See, she's religious. Jones has been open about her relationship status in the past, which many knows that she is still a virgin and saving herself for marriage. On social media, she said that her virgin status is still a topic of public conversation. We have another quote here. I get teased all the time because I won't have premarital blacks. Guys will Can direct DM me. What? That's so crazy because I feel like a lot of times the Eastern world mm -hmm. is so opposite from Western. Yeah. Like here in the mm -hmm. States, like if you're still a virgin by the age of like 30, yeah. you get mocked at. Like, if I heard there are guys that they're like 25 and they would rather find a prostitute to end their virgin life. It doesn't, I think, mean, that's virginity, stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's like, why is if you, it so If you do it that way, you're, you're not getting anything, any ground cover. Okay, why is it so ashamed to be a virgin in the, in the West, Western world? It, I don't know if it's not, it's not really a shame, but it, it shows that you have a lack of social skills. You, uh, you're probably not an attractive person. You probably, you probably haven't, uh, you're probably a scary person. I no, know. I feel like being a virgin at an older age means mm -hmm. you're a picky person. You have standards. You don't, you don't just settle for anyone yeah. that comes across and let them buzz you If open. you're a virgin at 30 or 40, you are outlandishly picky and dead. It is what it is. I don't know. I, I feel like, like in, at least in, in, I'm not sure. I can speak for all the Asian mm -hmm. cultures, but like for Chinese culture, like, if you're in right because I'm, like, I'm pretty sure Asian dudes like to bust just as well as everybody else everybody in, every man saying, in the whole world saying, likes yes, to bust. yes that's a problem because Asian guys like to buzz just the same mm -hmm. but they want to marry someone that's a virgin right. that's a problem stupid let's get it so that ain't no good logic you acting like they just they just uh curtain iron curtain teflon they nothing's wrong with their logic nah that's stupid no that's misogynistic yeah like, it's idiotic but yes. I'm just saying is like being a virgin is not something to be ashamed of mm. in Asian culture. Okay. You don't shame people because they're a virgin. Okay. At least from girls' perspective, I'm okay. sure guys. Uh, yeah. Blackie I mean, Silver can probably <laughs> Yeah, he might he might have something on right. it. But uh yeah, anyway. The following morning the athlete took to Instagram again to post a video of her saying, Wow, did I post that? Oops, in response to her being so candid. Shut up. Do we want to watch the video? Mm. Let's see what she talks like. Wow, did I post that? <laughs> She's cute. Oops. She's cute. That's all. That's it. That's it for the video right there, though, man. But uh, yeah. Y'all see what the hell going on right there, man? She's down bad because she's being way too picky, and uh, she's and you know, I guess she, yeah, I guess yeah, no, you are religious and I, all I that. I can't understand her because if you preserve your virginity for so long, you really, really want to save it for that special one person that's gonna probably spend the rest of yeah. the life with you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. It, so that you, makes sense. So it's like you don't want to just give it to any random joker. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yep. Yep. Had a similar situation to this, and I'm. <laughs> You have some generation? Yeah. I told you about it. You want to preserve your virginity? No. I told you about the similar situation I had. No, but it's different because the girl's not virgin herself. So she just decided that she wants to do it after she's not virgin anymore. I think it's different from... We don't when... know that. Yeah, we don't know that. But yeah, yeah you got a great, you have a great point there. If a, if a, if a person's sitting there talking about some... Uh, What's the what's the word celibate or whatever? Yeah, they need to go on. You need to go on get man. We'll we'll let you go on that little semen retention uh life by yourself and uh yeah. I feel like if you that's selfish. If you were not a virgin before mm -hmm. and now you want to practice this whole thing, yeah, then you really need to talk to your partner and tell them why you went through this change mm -hmm. and why you feel like it's so important to you at this point. Yeah, instead of before because it sounds unfair to your current partner. Yeah. And if that person can't get it, that's not the person for you. Yeah. Again, like, I don't think you should change your belief just mm -hmm. because you want to settle for this person. Because if you need to settle for this person's needs, yeah. that person's not a good fit for you. I had another situation like that. It was kind of funny. What? So, so there was this girl. She already had a baby and everything. 
So she uh so I guess she saw me on Instagram and everything like that. And mm-hmm. then she like she like came out to one of our workouts. It was like something like she shouldn't have been there. Like we don't work out for the week. But she came to the stadium of all places. It was hot as hell. Yeah. Jonah was out there too. Yeah. And Jonah was mesmerized by her. He was like he was like, Wow. He he called me after he was like he was like, Did you see the booty on that one? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? You know, I was laughing about yeah. it and everything. And then uh and then so like I start talking to her and everything like that. And then uh she she was she was on that like uh that purity ring thing. It's like, but you have a kid already, bro, you already all this kind of stuff, bro. Like, no. No, but that I understand is like if I did something idiotic as yeah. a teenager, yeah. I had this unexpected pregnancy and now I'm like I would never do it again. I yeah. need to make smart life decisions okay. and I start fresh again. Okay. I'm not just gonna let any guy bust me because yeah. I have feelings for them. That makes sense. Okay, that's real, but yeah. it's not it's not gonna work. It's real, but it's not gonna work. No, no, so it's like she has to really meet someone yeah. that likes her mm-hmm. for who she is yeah. inside and out. Yeah. Not just because she has nice body. I, I would you know? say that I, I noticed with girls like that, they try their they try their hardest to like make up for it in other areas. Like they take you out here, they take you there, they pay That's for not this. making up. See, when you think about she's making it up, yeah, you are already like I don't know. Oh, no, I, no, but balance. you are. But you're overcompensating in other areas where, yeah, you are. No, no. For for me, I feel like if I practice that, I'll be like. But I'm not asking you to do this. You're doing mm-hmm. it, so you are overcompensating. No, I'll be like, you love me for who I am. Yeah. And because you love me and respect me, you will understand why I'm doing this. Yeah. And because you understand me, mm-hmm. I love you even more I because guess. you are a cash too. Yeah. But good thing I don't practice that. I think sex is very important. Uh, I feel like how can you marry someone without even knowing if your sex life? That's already... stupid, right? I don't just call it stupid. But stupid. Just like, no, first... since you no, nice, <laughs> nice fairy tale Angie. <laughs> nice, but I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's stupid. But like, anyway, personally, so... I just feel like what if it doesn't work out? Like yeah. you're you're married to this person right. now. Like now you're stuck. Stuck like Chuck. So anyway, man. So I'm talking to the girl. She's taking me out to several places, yeah. movies, all this kind of stuff. I'm just sitting there like this. <laughs> and then, and so you're then, finessing her. No, I was not. I was not. I was not because I, I, I didn't, I didn't say nothing about it for a little while. I no, because, because you know what you want from this relationship, but you know what she's not willing to offer. But you still didn't say nothing. You just enjoy it. So you're finessing her. You're a finesser. This whole time you're talking about girls finessing guys. You did the same thing. So anyway, <laughs> I found out the news. And I was like, oh yeah, this is unbreakable. So I ghosted her. I was like, Casper. Call me Casper. So then, you know, I'm saying that this is when uh, me and Mike and all of us live together and everything. That was a fun time. But anyway, so yeah. So you see, she texts me out of the blue, out of nowhere, talking about some, yeah, how are you? I, I miss you. And then I was like, are you still doing that period or anything? thing? And she was like, <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like, <laughs> yes. And guess what I did? Ghost. <laughs> this is a trash man, girl. Ladies, if you're watching this video, this is a type of man. Wow. Big trash. You're trash. I was big trash at that time. If I were that girl's friend, I'll be like, block him. He's a. I was big trash. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I just I just think uh, yeah, it's good you you're being religious and all that. And you're trying to stick to your integrity and all that good stuff. But uh, can you can you can you tell us more about how you evolved from being a big trash to Micah right now? I don't know. I just kind of just grew up a, bit, a little more. It's, yeah, it ain't about all that all the time. Damn. Yeah, big trash. Yep. Unfortunately, that's like basically the girl version of the story. Mm-hmm. Will be like I'm dating you, right? Mm-hmm. And you, you love me and everything, mm-hmm. but the only thing you don't have is money. So I'm like, hey, honey, can you pay for my rent this week? I mean, this month. And then you're like, ah. Oh. And I'll be like, <laughs> ghost. And then two years later, you'll be like, hey, Ange, what's up? And I'll yeah. be like, you want to pay for my rent for the next, for the rest of the year? You'll be like, ah. Oh. I'll be like, bye. <laughs> That's exact. <laughs> it is kind of like that. You are an elite ATL finesser. You're wow. talking about all those girls being wow. trash. 
You were the same shit. I guess it's you don't get to complain about that. I them. guess it's him and not oh on me. Oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, man, I just, I just, I just think it's uh, I mean, unless you're gonna find a midsummer type cult guy, I, I think it's a little outlandish to think that a guy's supposed to sit there and rush deliver the marriage with you for in an eight month or year span, or to, or on the other hand, wait three to five years to actually get to know you. And then get married to you. Then he finally busts. And then at the same time, like you said, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know that, that if that thing hit right. So now, yeah. So now you just stuck with this little joker and all this kind of stuff. But I, I just think, yeah. And I think that when that kind of stuff happens, I think ladies are taking a, uh, you're taking a, you're taking a chance. But again, I feel like. And, and if you are like, I, like she said too, if you're one of them folks that's running around here like, oh yeah, I already got a baby, I already been busting around, and now I'm trying to make you wait. Nope. But I feel like if you're looking for that type of guy, mm. you have to look for them in specific places. Midsummer quote. No, like you have to like, for example, go to a church and yeah. meet those people there. You can't be meeting them on like social gatherings, mm -hmm. meeting them in bars and expect them to be like that. Because no, those yeah. people are like vouchers. They, so, yeah. they, 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 they so, you're, yeah, so your life has to, has to truly coincide with your, uh, your beliefs. Right. Yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, yeah. But I think uh, I think church can be a midsummer cold at times. Anyway. But uh, yeah, that's it for the <laughs> that's it for the video right there, man. If you watched up to this point, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.